Hey everybody, so welcome back. Today we are going to be making some cool stuff out of some blue onyx. And check out my blue onyx here. Got a couple rough pieces. I have a couple more over by the saw. So we are going to make slices out of these. And blue onyx is really, truly beautiful when it's polished. It has browns and like yellows and whites and all kinds of patterns and stripes and and it looks so cool when it's when it's polished so we are going to be making slices out of these guys each one of these is probably going to give us maybe about three slices each maybe this one we'll just do in half so we are going to head over to the saw and I'm excited to see what we can create. Blue Onyx is a wonderful sobriety stone. I mean, it's actually called the sobriety stone. Similar to Amethyst, it helps you kind of break addictions, whether your addiction is smoking, uh, snacking, whatever the case may be, the energies of this connect with you and really try to break you out of those negative patterns and they're easy to get in, very easy. And this is one of the top things. It's a very spiritual stone, and we're gonna make some really beautiful polished pieces out of this, I'm excited. I love Blue Onyx. I don't see enough of it out and about everywhere, um, but we're gonna make some, and hopefully it'll turn out really good. So we will see you over at the saw in a minute. All right, we are over at the saw, and look at the color already on this. It is beautiful material, and it's got tons of patterns, and all these blue and brown and white stripes going across. You can kind of see what's gonna pop out of this at the end when we make our cuts. So this guy, I'm gonna go in slices, could probably get about three slices out of this guy. And also this is about a seven on the Mohs hardness scale. So similar to Amazonite, maybe a little bit harder, but still not too bad. So let's see what we can make out of this guy. Beautiful material. <laughs> is Blue Onyx. Look at that. So beautiful. So beautiful. And once we polish this, oh man. Wow. Look at the color and the patterns. Exactly what I was expecting. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Love Blue Onyx. And you never know what each piece is going to bring. Some of them are all wavy and just cool, cool stuff. And it wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad at all, the cut, actually. All right, let me keep going. Let's see what this guy looks like. That's a beauty, too. And I'm going to cut this in half next.
That is sick. Beautiful stuff. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Man, is that going to polish up nice, especially this double-sided. So the next piece, I actually started to cut at one point. I remember cutting a while back and never finished. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this one a little bit different. Instead of cutting long ways, I'm just going to slice this right in half and see how this one comes out. Should be pretty cool. That's the cool thing. I mean, no matter what way you're cutting this, it's going to look cool and it's going to look awesome. So let's hit it. Just gonna go right in half with this guy. Let's go to the next one here. This guy, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. It's too thin to cut long ways. It's too thin to cut anyway. I'm just gonna cut this and maybe mess around on the polisher. I'm gonna cut it in half and then see if I could polish the outside or something. I have no idea. Looks like an arrowhead. pieces but not much I could do besides that on these guys this next one here again at one point I cut this face I'm gonna cut this one long ways and see what happens there and I'm just gonna keep slicing this as I go This one, I'm gonna go straight down this sucker. See how this turns out. One 
once again, pretty awesome. All right, last piece. This one is a pretty big piece. I'm gonna go all the way down this and get some nice slices out of this. Let's see, and most of this is mostly the blue onyx. A lot of the exterior of this gives it that, like the exterior with the, the yellow and the, and the brown will add a lot of that. So I'm curious if I'm still gonna get a lot of that color because there's only a little bit of that outside shell. So this part might be primarily blue. So let's see what happens here. Look at that! Now, I don't know. I, I might just leave this as is. Oh boy. I might do one more slice. One more slice! I think we have plenty, so we're gonna start polishing this up and see how it comes out. We are over at the polishing wheel and ready to finish up polishing all our beautiful blue onyx. So we're gonna get going on the polishing here. And this actually doesn't take very long. The only thing I'm doing really is taking off the saw blade marks and that's kind of hard to see. You could a little bit there, but I'm gonna take that first layer off all the way. And this part, you see how this is all white? So what I normally do is I let the water drip and let this piece dry up and mixed with a little water i could use this dry top of the pad to really cut down into that first layer if there are any um, marks from the saw that are like really deep sometimes so i gotta get everyone out or it's gonna drive me nuts so we're gonna repeat and just kind of cut that first layer down and get all those saw blade marks out. And like I said, this is about a seven, I think I said. What is it, a seven on the Mohs hardness scale? Similar to Amazonite, but to me, it's a little, easier to work with to be honest so there's a little bit more let me cut that down a little bit more there get out all those saw blades we want this looking perfect and I do sell these all so see who the lucky owner is I don't want them to have saw blade marks all over it so it looks like that first layer is, I don't know if that's a natural part of the rock or, a, or not. No, I think it was something natural actually. Okay, so this one's pretty much done and ready for the next grit. 
And we're gonna repeat this process here. And I have a lot of material, so it's gonna take me a little bit. So check this out guys, look at how awesome this is coming out. Beautiful material, awesome bands. This one is like a really nice piece. And again, I have a lot of, it gets very chalky when you cut this, but that stuff is so beautiful. Tons of awesome bands, these are gonna be just really beautiful i mean they're pretty much that's what it's going to look like in the end once it's polished a little clean but man these are really beautiful that's like a piece of blue ice right there awesome looking and this stuff is similar to i, I keep bringing up amazonite because i was just working with it but it's chalky it's like a amazonite is a is like a thicker, milkier kind of a chalk. This is more of like a light, very light dust. And it's just like a, like a chalky liquid. So it's actually, it actually stays pretty clean um, compared to some. This isn't bad at all. And there's not a lot of dust. All right, we're gonna keep on going here. ready to hit up the next wheel. I just wanted to show you, look at all this blue onyx. Look at this. I, it's Sometimes it amazes me when I start working with material and I have only a couple rocks and it, it feels like it multiplies. I, I don't know, it's just different once it's all cut up and slabbed up. But everything's looking really good so far. So I'm gonna get these all polished up on the next grit here so we're gonna knock this out and then I have one more grit to get down to on the polisher and then I'll be able to get these in really good lighting and we could check them out and see how they came out so I'm gonna knock these out now and I will see you guys in a little bit All ready to roll for the last grip here, so we're going to finish this up and get these all polished up to perfection. And I can't wait to get these all like cleaned up 
and get these under the the light, that's going to be awesome. I mean, this stuff came out really nice, and it polishes well too. Polishes to like a, a glassy sheen. So, all right, let's get these finished up. So I am really happy with the way this Blue Onyx turned out. I mean, it is awesome. Awesome. Look at how cool this is. And they're all similar to this. Just amazing color, banding. I mean, this looks like a wave coming at you. I mean, this thing is, it's crazy. Look at the color of this. I mean, you would never know. I mean, you could get an idea when it comes off the polisher, but... It's so gooped with all the rock juice and everything. It's like a milk. I mean, you got to really wash all that up. And it is beautiful in the end. It was worth the uh, few hours I spent doing this. But uh, they're awesome thick slices. Just awesome. And this one, um, this is probably my favorite. It looks like, again, a wave. Might be keeping this one. But just gorgeous veins and just beautiful. And then there's one, I know I'm, I sound like a little kid right now. Like this one right here, it, it's like the white banding. It's almost like an uh, electric bolt coming out my fingertip there. But this, I mean, it's incredible looking. I love this stuff. I love Blue Onyx. And one of the th reasons that I could actually sit there and do this stuff for so long is because when you can get an end result like this it's worth it it is so worth it and now that i could share it with people i'm excited i i, I am because a lot of stuff i did like this behind the scenes and it was just for pure fun but now i could share it and it's i'm ex very excited about that so the channel's been doing very well lately picking up a ton of new subscribers so thank you for everything and going to keep, keep going strong here and keep making a lot of videos. I have so much rough material. It's going to be many videos I could make. Um, I don't know if I showed you some of these. This is again, like a tidal wave. I mean, gorgeous. And I also just learned they, I don't, I believe this is a new thing. They refer to this as oceanite. I've never heard that before. That's new to me. So I don't know if that's something new that they, I know that they pick some, you know, somebody picks a name at some point for crystals, but that's like a new, new age name or I, I don't know to get it to sell better. It sounds cooler. I mean, I will admit it's a great name for this. This looks like if something is ocean, I, this is it, but I've always referred to this as Blue Onyx. I mean, this has been used all the way back to the Egyptians. They, they use this, and they're, they made protective amulets. I mean, great metaphysical properties with this. I mean, this helps you to speak truth from the heart. Uh, very protective stone. Very spiritual. Great for communication and speaking. Just many uses for this, and... You know what's also, now that I'm getting into the metaphysical properties, one thing that's kind of unique is generally when you have a, a, a crystal, say, say example, like red jasper. Red jasper is a famous root chakra stone, grounding energies into the earth, like blood red. It read just like the root chakra, like the whole thing goes together. Blue onyx is a root chakra stone. 
it activates your root chakra. It works from the ground up. That's kind of unique because a lot of times you're not going to see a blue crystal like this, like a working with the root chakra. Usually it's a red, a black, but this is kind of odd for this, but it's definitely a root chakra stone. So just something uh, cool about it. But I think these come out awesome and I'm very excited. All these are going to be, well, not all of them. I'm going to, I sell in a few different locations locally and Etsy and a couple different things. So most of this is going to be on Etsy and that'll take, if you go to CourtdaleCrossings.com, it takes you right to my Etsy shop and one thing I do is try to give like reasonable prices, like a lot of these places online. Coincidentally, Etsy, there's a lot of a lot of places they're just marked up crazy, just crazy prices. And I don't know, I don't get it. I I mean, yes, I'm putting some time and energy into this stuff and some some a whole lot of love behind them, but I'm still not going to charge an arm and a leg to have you know, something cool. So that's about it. I mean, I could keep going and showing. I probably showed you some of these, the same one about three times now. I can't remember. So <laughs> I guess it's time to wrap this up. Hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys next time. And who knows what we're going to create next time. That's, that's the cool part. Very excited about these videos. See you guys.